Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this patriotic star wreath using only Dollar Tree items. Okay, first I'm using one of the tinsel stars and you'll want to remove all the tinsel uh, from the star. For some reason I wasn't filming this part. Then you'll want to cut off the little nubbies that are on the star and um, the little blue ribbon that they use as a hanger. And this is what the star should look like once that's done. Next, I'm taking this nautical rope, and mine is in the 13 foot. I know they don't sell the 13 foot anymore, they only sell the 9 foot. But I already had a stash of the 13 foot. Um, of the 13 foot, I did use about two and a half packs, so I would suggest with the 9 foot nautical rope, um, you might want to pick up three to four packs of it. Okay, so next I am going to be taking the rope and I am going to start by hot gluing um, some of the rope at the point of one of the stars. I'm going to hot glue this in a couple of places just so that um, I can get started, you know, to have a secure um, place to start with my rope. Once I get that um, rope started and get it glued down, I'm going to start wrapping the rope around the point of this star. And you don't want to pull too hard or too tight on the rope because it will cause the star to bend. So you just want to wrap it with enough tension that it isn't too loose. I wrapped it several times until I got to the base of the point. like that right there and once I got to a good stopping point I just hot glued um, the end of the rope uh, where I wanted to secure it at I hot glued that and then I cut the rope off and once that's done you'll want to wrap the remaining four points on the star what it should look like once you have all the points wrapped in the rope to be using these mini flags they come in a three pack from the Dollar Tree I used a total of 12 flags so you will need four packs so I took the flags and I removed the little straws that they're attached to some of the straws slid off the others I had to cut off Okay, so next I'm going to be cutting the flags into uh, five and a half inches long. I did start off by cutting them to six inches and uh, figured out that that was a little bit too long. Um, so I went ahead and went back to just cutting them at five and a half inches long. Next I'm going to be cutting the flag into two inch strips. Next, I'm just going to be fraying the edges of the strips. Um, I did try to rip the flags, but it ended up ruining the flags, so I would not recommend ripping. Um, if you wanted to use regular cotton material, uh, you could do that and they would rip just fine. But for some reason, with whatever the material is that these flags are made of, it did not work. So uh, right here I'm just pulling some of the threads out to fray it and you want to do that to all four sides. Okay next I'm going to be taking each of the strips that I cut and I'm going to be tying them in a single knot on each of these little bars that are inside the star.
Okay, this is what the star should look like once you get all the strips tied on. Next, I'm gonna be taking this pipe cleaner and I just cut the pipe cleaner in half. And now I'm gonna be uh, threading the pipe cleaner through the back of the star uh, in between one of the, the little ropes on the back. And this is gonna be the hanger. So I'm just making a loop with the pipe cleaner and then I'm gonna be twisting the ends of the pipe cleaner together. And this is what it should look like. Now at this point, you can start adding bows or embellishments, whatever you wish, or you could just leave it plain if you want. Uh, right here, I'm just gonna show you, um, give you some ideas. This is some uh, of the mini bows that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree. I was just trying it out to see how it would look. I ended up not going with uh, using these little bows. Okay, here I'm showing you some of the burlap bows uh, that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree. These are a little bit bigger bows. Um, I know that they're going to be too big for this wreath, but I thought I'd go ahead and, and try one just to see what it would look like. And obviously it's a little bit too big so um, I didn't use it. Next I have this table scatter from the Dollar Tree and I thought I would see how this would look like on the wreath. They come in different sizes, two different sizes. There's a smaller size and a larger size um, of these little stars. So here I am just kind of placing them on here to see how they looked and um, I tried the different sizes and I tried putting them in different spots just to see how they looked. I decided not to use the foam stars, but these little paper stars were on the uh, tinsel wreath before I took it apart. So I placed these on there to see how they would look. So I decided to go ahead and use these uh, paper stars. So here I am going to hot glue each of these paper stars onto the points of the wreath. And this is how it turned out. I hope you all enjoyed this Dollar Tree DIY. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do and click the bell to get notified when I upload a video. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye!